Good evening. Tonight's film has a historical subject. It's an epic spanning an entire continent. It was directed by a legendary Italian director, has scores of plots and subplots, thousands of extras, lavish sets, authentic period props and costumes, and a highly acclaimed musical score. It's also much too long. If it had been directed last year by Bernardo Bertolucci, it would have won a dozen Oscars. But it was made in 1966 by Sergio Leone, and it's a Western called The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly is the third in a trilogy of films that began with A Fistful of Dollars in 1963. All the Italians that made that film were so nervous at that time about making a spaghetti Western because it was one of the first that they all masqueraded behind American pseudonyms. They only chose the name Bob Robertson. They were also very concerned to have an American actor in the lead role. But the first actor that Leone approached, James Coburn, turned him down. The second person he approached was an American expatriate living in Rome called Richard Harrison. But Harrison didn't want to be in a Western done by Italians and he turned him down too. Leone said, do you know anybody else I could approach? And Harrison said, yeah, I know a guy in L.A. He hasn't got any work. He might do it. Leone said, has he done any films before? And Harrison said, not really, but he did play Rowdy Yates on Rawhide. The actor's name was Clint Eastwood, and the rest is history. 